podcast directories are one of the most important elements of growing your show and reaching new listeners. So in this video, we're gonna explain what podcast directories are, some things you need to have in place before you can get your show listed in a podcast directory, and then what are the main directories you wanna focus on, especially if you're just getting started. So what is a podcast directory? You can think about it kind of like a phone book or a yellow pages, if you're old enough to remember those, where you would just have a book full of phone numbers and you could go through and you could find plumbers, you could find general contractors and your local business down the street. And the whole point was you have all this information in one place to make it really easy to find what you're looking for, somebody's phone number. And podcast directories function in a very similar way, that if you wanna go and download a new show by NPR, you go to Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Google Podcasts and you start typing it in. And it takes all of the shows that are listed in that app and gives you results based on what you search. And so if that show has been listed in that directory, you can go ahead and subscribe right there and start downloading episodes. Now, before you can submit your show to a podcast directory, most of them are gonna require a couple of standard things. Essentially, you need to have your podcast ready to go before you can submit your show. They don't want just like a piece of artwork or a random episode, but there's like pieces missing. If they're gonna list your show in their directory, you need to essentially have a podcast someone can listen to. So that includes things like the name of your podcast, a brief description of what your show is about, a live episode that someone can download, whether that's a trailer episode or the first episode in your show. You need to have one of those live in your podcast. You also need to identify the language, the main language that you speak on your show so it can index properly in these podcast directories. You also need to mark it as explicit if there is explicit profane content within your show. From there, you'll also wanna identify at least one category that your show fits into. Most directories take the categories from Apple Podcasts, and so if you're using a host like Buzzsprout, all the categories that you see listed there are the Apple Podcasts categories, but other directories will borrow those as well. And so you'll wanna identify like technology or education or business, whatever is the best fit for your show. And then from there, the only other thing that you need is some custom artwork. Now, this piece can be a huge hurdle for podcasters that are just getting started. They finally got that microphone, they got their first episode done, and it's like, oh wait, I gotta be a graphic designer too? That's why Buzzsprout just rolled out a new Canva integration so you can design some incredible artwork right inside of your Buzzsprout dashboard. And if you wanna learn more about how to do that, then you can just click up in the cards here or in the video description below, we have a link to a tutorial on how to use that new Canva feature. All of these things, you will want to have in place before you start going through the submission process to these various podcast directories. If not, if you're missing some of these pieces, then your show will get rejected, which is not what anybody wants, right? So just make sure you have these things in place before you start submitting your show. And now we can actually start getting your podcast out there. There are three main podcast directories that you absolutely must list your podcast in if you wanna reach as many people as you possibly can. And there are two others that are runner-ups that we'll talk about after those three. The first podcast directory to focus on is Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, in a lot of people's minds, is synonymous with podcasting in general. So you wanna make sure that you get your show listed there. A nice benefit to submitting your show to Apple Podcasts is that there are other apps that use that directory to populate their own listings. So apps like Overcast, CastBox and Castro also pull shows directly from Apple Podcasts in order to populate their apps as well. So it's like a one for four bang for your buck deal that you're getting there. They do have a very unique submission process. If you wanna go through a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to submit your show to Apple Podcasts, there are instructions inside of the Buzzsprout dashboard. If you use a host that's different than Buzzsprout, they probably have their own process, but it is well worth it. The only thing that's different about Apple Podcasts that you'll wanna know going into it is you need an Apple ID. That way you can claim your show inside of Apple and they can kind of keep everything registered within their own ecosystem of apps and things that they like to do. So if you don't have an Apple ID, we'll leave a link in the description for this episode where you can go and create one for free and you'll just need to have that in place before you can submit your show to Apple Podcasts through Podcast Connect. The second directory you should get listed in is Spotify. Spotify is relatively new on the scene, only having podcasts for a few years, but they've quickly gained a lot of ground and are introducing a lot of people to podcast listening. So you definitely wanna make sure that you are in Spotify as well. Now, their submission process is super simple. 
Once you have all the things that we talked about in the last section, all you have to do is click one button to submit your show to Spotify. Now, if you're self-hosting your files or you're on a podcast host that doesn't have one-click submission, which is rare, there is a step-by-step -step process you can go through and we'll link to a tutorial in the show notes. So you can go and watch that if you need to. But if you're using Buzzsprout or if you're using another podcast host that has that one-click submission process, it should simply be as easy as one click and your shows in Spotify. And then big directory number three is Google Podcasts. Now, Google likes to march to the beat of their own drum, so they don't actually have a manual submission process that you can go through to say, hey Google, my podcast is here, please start showing it to people. Instead, Google uses their internet domination infrastructure technology to crawl through the internet and discover podcasts that it didn't know existed before and list them in Google Podcasts. In order for that to happen, you need a publicly viewable website with your podcast on it. Now, if you have a paid plan inside of Buzzsprout, we create that website for you and uh, do everything that you need to do to make sure that you are listed in Google Podcasts. But if you're using your own website or if you're using a different podcast host, you just wanna make sure and check with them to make sure that they are providing a website that Google Podcasts can look for and find and list inside of the directory. Now, there are two other directories that have recently come on the scene that we think are gonna be really important moving forward. And luckily for you, they're both one-click submissions from inside of Buzzsprout. The first one is Amazon Music and Audible. Amazon is a big player, they have lots of money, and they're recently getting very serious about the podcast game. And so, if you want to get your show in front of more listeners, go ahead and go through that submission process. It's really simple. And then the other big index kind of giving it away here, that's gonna be important is the Podcast Index, which is a completely independent podcast directory. We think that the Podcasting 2.0 group that is organizing the Podcast Index is really important to keep podcasting open and free and independent. And a lot of third-party apps are now using it instead of Apple Podcast Directory to populate their apps. So if you wanna get into some of the more niche third-party apps that are starting to grow and get more listeners and subscribers, then you'll wanna make sure you submit to the podcast index as well. And luckily for you, it is also a one-click submission inside of Buzzsprout. Now from there, there are more podcast directories that you can submit your show to. Just by going to the directories tab here inside of Buzzsprout, you can see there are a lot. The good news is most of these are a one-click submission. So all you have to do is click in there, click the button saying, yes, I want my podcast in Podcast Addict, I want it in Podchaser, I want it in Player FM, I want it in Listen Notes and it's very simple. You might be wondering, is this really worth doing? Like, is it worth doing this work to get listed in all these different apps and directories? And the thing that I want you to keep in mind is this is only something you have to do one time. Once your show gets listed in a podcast directory, it is there unless you actually take it out. So go ahead and do the work to get listed in as many places as you possibly can knowing that that's gonna allow more people to find your podcast, to discover what you're doing, and to fall in love with your content. You want your podcast to be everywhere so that anyone can listen to it. Now, if you're looking for some step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get listed in Apple Podcasts through Podcast Connect, how to make sure that your website is searchable by Google Podcasts, and some of the more particular uh, things that you'll need to know to submit to these various directories, we have an actual playlist here on our YouTube channel covering a lot of the main directories that you'll wanna get into. So if you wanna watch that next, you can click the link in the description below, or just pop over to this image right here, and you can start going through and checking each one off to know that you are setting yourself up for success and really maximizing the growth of your podcast audience. Well, we hope you found this video helpful. And until next time, keep podcasting.